Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise run full feature Windows apps on your Chromebook, even offline. In this how-to video, we'll show you today how to prepare and export Windows Virtual Machine images. The process to prepare in this session is the following. You will need your own Windows ISO or download Windows 10 evaluation from Microsoft website. Your Chromebook must have at least 20 gigabytes of disk space and enrolled to your Google domain and organization or organization unit. Google Admin Console with access to organization units, license redeemed, and Parallels Desktop enabled for your organization and again, organization unit. The process to create a virtual machine in Crush is very simple. You need to open Terminal, Ctrl-T, and then use the VMC command. We will see that in action in this Chromebook. We'll be opening the File Explorer. And under Downloads, we'll see that I have already an ISO, which I renamed to Windows 10 to keep it simple. With Crush open, we will run the VMC Create command. In this case, I will create a virtual machine called Win10HR, but as you can see in the documentation, it says PVM default. Therefore, you can create any name as you want. Once the process is completed, we can start the virtual machine. And this usually takes three to five minutes. To start a virtual machine, we open Crush again and we use the command to start a virtual machine. Then you customize it sysprep it, and then finally you can export it. So let's go back to Crush and run again the command VMC start the virtual machine name. That will open Parallels Desktop manually in this Chromebook. Then we'll be installing and configuring Windows like what you do in a regular PC or a virtual machine. So you will have all of your policies created, Sysprep it and so on. To keep it simple, I kept this video very short to do not waste time in this particular video. So once all of the customizations are done and the virtual machine setup completed for the first time, we'll be installing Parallels Tools, which is part of our drivers. This process takes just a couple of minutes to be completed. Then we'll shut down the virtual machine and then we can have it ready for export. Again, we go to Crush and we're going to use the VMC export command. It is very important to use the dash D option because it will create the SHA-256 checksum that it's required in Google Admin Console. So this export process might also take a few minutes to be completed. And once done, we can upload the file to your file server Google Drive, open Google Admin Console, navigate to the organization unit, place the VM and the checksum, and then it will be ready to be pushed to your end users. Just to illustrate to you where the file is located in this IIS server, I save on the server, and here is the URL that we're going to use in Google Admin Console. First, we navigate to the organization unit we want to place it. Then we will be changing the URL for this virtual machine. As you can see, I replaced my previous image to this new one. Then we will open the file that we have exported with, SA, uh, with the SHA-256 and place it in here as well. We'll make sure that is saved in Google Admin Console. And finally, prepare for deployment. So user will log in in the Chromebook he or she will open Parallels Desktop, the VM is downloaded, and then we'll be ready to go. So let's take a look. We'll be opening Parallels Desktop. This was quite fast. The image will be downloaded, which means can be downloaded on-prem or from the internet. Once the configuration is completed, the VM will be launched and ready to go.